hernia repairs frequently involve mesh and uh, there are attorneys that are giving people uh, a lot of negative feelings about mesh and I want you to all know right from the start um, I've been on the other side of this. I've got mesh here from 20 years ago, mesh here from 10 years ago and I also have mesh in my leg, uh, not to mention a lot of metal in my body. Um, and the likelihood of the mesh that I use causing trouble and needing to be removed is 0.1%, uh, which is lower than the likelihood of losing a knee replacement or a hip replacement. Uh, so um, in medically speaking, it's safe and it is the standard of care. Uh, but I think it's fair that you understand some of the history of, of where we're coming with mesh. If you have a hernia, you have a hernia because you got weak internal gristle. That's called collagen, and people who have hernias uh, generally make fetal collagen in greater proportion than adult collagen, and fetal collagen is designed to stretch and grow. And in weak areas, it bulges out and you get a hernia. And frequently people will have multiple hernias through their lives. They'll have family members who have hernias, and they've got this inbred problem. Uh, so when we fix a hernia without mesh, the failure rate is about one in four, 25 percent chance of failure. That's at the belly button, it's in the groin. Uh, and we used to just live with that because that was the way it was. Um, but in 1992 they came up with the concept of this fetal collagen and, and how do you fix that? And the people who came up with the answer were the Vietnam surgeons. Uh, in Vietnam, if you were in a swamp and a mine went off or a grenade went off and you had a big hole in you, you were covered in grime and swamp juice and they needed to get you out of the country where you could really get fixed. And they used an industrial filter called Marlex Mesh that had been patented in 1959 as an industrial filter, but it, it filtered hot stuff. It could be sterilized. So they put this mesh in people and shipped them to Hawaii or, or uh, Japan to get them fixed and get over things. They used four different mesh products in Vietnam and three of them got infected within the first week. And those guys were forced into a second operation to deal with whatever this gap is they had in their body a week later and a lot of them died because it forced this operation. And surprisingly, this Marlex mesh didn't get infected. And it stayed there. And more of those people lived and consequently it sort of became the standard of care through the Vietnam War that they used this mesh. Uh, and they told all those guys, this mesh is eventually gonna get infected but by then you'll be, you'll be healthy and we'll take it out and you'll need another operation later on in your life. And those guys, 55 years later now, they're healthy, the mesh is there, it's not fragmenting, it's not getting brittle, it's not turning into cancers, it's part of their body and it's functioning as part of their body. So when we started using mesh for hernia repairs, there was an immediate drop in the recurrence of hernias, uh, down to about 2% for groin hernias, 5% for midline belly hernias. So the mesh makes a big difference in whether you ever have to come back again for another repair and has relatively little impact in terms of health failure disasters. Nothing in medicine is perfect, but a 0.1% chance of mesh problems with uh, the polypropylene woven mesh is a very low likelihood of trouble. And that's why I use it. Now, um, in our area, you will continue seeing mesh litigation ads from the attorneys probably for the next 20 years. And part of that is because the world's worst mesh was invented in Auburn, Washington, just right up the road. Uh, it's called the Kugel Patch, and Dr. Kugel, at the time that all of this mesh was discovered, decided the mesh needed to be thicker. He made it two layers thick, and he put a wire rim in the edge of it. And the FDA approved a mesh with a wire rim in the edge of it. And I think nearly, no, nearly nine out of 10 seventh graders can tell you that if you take a wire and it bends and bends and bends for many years, you're gonna have problems with it. And about 15 years in with this, mar with this uh, Kugel patch, the wire does break. And then it sticks a hole in the colon or a bladder and becomes an emergency problem 
15 years or more after the mesh was put in. And this mesh was very popular. It went worldwide. Um, the major institutions in Seattle used it extensively. There are tens of thousands of people in our area with this mesh in them right now that are at risk for that kind of a problem. So the attorneys are buying yachts and they're buying ads and they're going to continue advertising as though all mesh problems, all mesh are a problem. And um, what I want to remind you is that when you're at the Christmas party and your friends are giving you a hard time for letting some surgeon put mesh in you, uh, that you're getting the Ford and the Mitsubishi got the recall. It's a different product and you're likely to be safe living your life uh, reconstructed with mesh. <laughs>